What's up guys and welcome back to another video. What's up guys? Before I start this video, I want to invite you guys to this Saturday. I'm going to be attending one of the kermeses. This is just uh, to raise money for the ranch where um, I'm from. If you guys see all my vlogs, everything is from La Labor. So if you guys want to support, make sure you guys check out this Saturday. I will be there. Let me know down below which one of you guys are going. Um, I'll leave the flyer here so you guys can see it. Uh, para toda la gente de Nochisclan, para toda la gente de, de aquí de California que quiere ir, que quiere atender. Vamos a tener una kermes este sábado. Aquí lo voy a poner flyer. All right, let's get started with this video. What's up, guys? Today we're gonna be doing a basic alarm stall on on the uh, OBS. So we got this Viper alarm here. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, I think it was like 150 bucks. I mean, it's not gonna stop any thieves that actually want to jack the truck, but it'll at least get rid of the low lives. The junkies that just want to quick uh, steal it quickly or something like that. Plus, what I mainly want it for is to lock and unlock. So that's gonna be. It has like a two-way pager, and it's for lock and unlock. So that's pretty good. For some reason, they sent me all the instructions in Spanish. I don't know why. So let's crack this open, and I'll show you guys how to do this basic install. Like I said, I know that this is not going to stop the thieves from actually stealing it. If they're going to steal it, they're going to steal it no matter what. On a tow truck. Anyway, there's a bunch of ways to steal it. So um, let's crack this open and see everything that's in here. All right, so it looks a little overwhelming when you open the package because you have like a nest of wires. Look at all this. And then you have your brain here, remote controls, um, your antenna, and then your siren. But nevertheless, I'll show you how easy it is. Especially on um, this year vehicle, on, on uh, newer vehicles, you do need like a, another adapter. All right guys, so for some reason they only sent us our instructions in Spanish. But good thing we, can, we know how to speak a little Spanish, you know? And then we have our wiring diagram. I, I got this off uh, 12volt.com. And it's very easy. All you gotta do is match where it says, you know, constant 12 volts. So then you'll look over here where it says constant 12 volts, which which is equivalent to alimentación constante, 12 volts, which is rojo. And then it's gonna be the red at the ignition switch harness. So seeing how easy this is, that's how easy it's gonna be to wire all this up. So then we'll have our red, which in this case kind of looks a little pink to be honest, but this is our red, and that's gonna go to our red in our ignition inside the vehicle and so forth and so forth so we have all these there's a lot we're not going to use like the tack we don't need it because this is not going to be a remote start we could have gone with remote start but i don't really need it for this truck and then brake switch we're not going to use because again not remote start parking lights yes no trunk it doesn't have a trunk and then we're not gonna use the door triggers or door lock. I mean, door trigger, yeah, but not door lock or unlock yet because we don't have it wired in the door. That's gonna be a future um, a future build in this, in this channel. And then horn wire, I don't want the horn to be, I just want the siren. So that's pretty much it. So um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of group the wires. So the ignition, so one, two, three, four of these wires. I'm kind of going to group them together to make it all nice and neat and I'll show you how I do that right now. Alright, I switched over to the GoPro so hopefully you guys get a better view right here. Um, so again, we're going to get the ignition one. We're going to kind of group them together. Then we have the starter one which is the purple one and on, and on this one, the starter one is... The starter one is gonna be this relay over here. Cause we're gonna be cutting into the relay. So we need kind of move this around. Did 
The easiest way to do this is to organize yourself, kind of like how we did for the radio. Just organize it so everything kind of is grouped where it has to go. Okay, so this is gonna be our kill switch thing. Obviously we're gonna add another kill switch, but this is just the basic one that comes with the kit. And we're gonna run that to the starter. And then we have ignition, which is pink. So that's also equivalent to ignition here, which is amarillo, entrada de ignacion, which is this already the yellow one. Same one that's gonna be here. On, on this side right here, right here. And then we have ignition, then what else do we have? Okay, then the, the black one, where's the, this black one is gonna be to the chassis ground. So we're gonna put that. Brown is, brown, 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 brown. This is going to go to the siren. So we're going to put this one apart. This is going to go to our siren, which is going to be wired directly to here, to our siren. And then, mm, then we have white, white, blanco, salida para, salida para cuartos. I imagine this is the one for the the parking lights one parking lights what's purple para entrada para puertas door door the hell door blue disparo instantáneo disparo instantáneo Black and white. No, negro y blanco. Salida de luz interiores. Interior light. Green. Disparo de puerta. And then. Canal 3. Alright guys, so we're not going to be using these on our truck right here. Um, this one is for instant trigger like a hood pin. We don't have a hood pin. It didn't come with the hood pin here So I'm not gonna be using this one um, And then these are like uh, accessories in case I wanted to run like a, a Motion sensing thing or anything like that. So I'm gonna be cutting them and In the future if I ever need to use it There we go <clears throat> We'll save them in the future in case we need to use them. They're like the accessory stuff that add-ons that you can add, I guess, to, to this. So, not going to need that. I'm just going to wrap it all together here. And then later on, if I need it, then I'll use it. Alright guys, we're actually going to wrap this very nice and neat. I like to twist them a little bit. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a little trick. Wait, we don't need... The brown is the one that's not going to be here. So take the brown out. Okay. Now we're going to put this here. Just like that, guys. You're going to grab the other end over here. Okay. Just like that. And then kind of twist them together. All right. Just like that guys, this will make it a lot neater. So let's untwist it a little bit. I think I did it too tight. But see, this will give us the length that we need and keep things nice and neat. Oh, the brown kind of got twisted on it.
put a little bit of Tessa tape on this stuff. All right guys, so here we have it. Now it looks a lot less intimidating than all the wires and it looks nice and clean. Now you can hide. You're not supposed to put this under the dash. You can hide the box. I mean, anybody looking for it was gonna find it. But like I said, it's gonna take them a little while to actually, you want them to struggle a little bit to look for it and find it and everything. So um, now we can hide our box a little bit further away like that. Run this to the front and then we can just connect our wires that we need to connect which are these here so these should be fairly easy to now connect so i'm gonna go ahead and hide this box inside and then i will show you the connections under the dash that we're going to be making and it's pretty much done guys this this thing is a quick quick thing so all this is is connected into here like that bada bing bada boom and then i guess this is a sensitivity here there we have it and then we also have our antenna we have our valet switch i don't know if we even need that and then this little light that tells you i guess it tells you if it's on or not i don't know if i need that and then our little antenna Maybe this little switch is helpful if they're looking inside and they want to see if it has an alarm, right? Okay. So let's continue. Let's go under our dash and see how we're going to be wiring this part up. All right, guys, we're under the dash. I zip tied everything and I hit it really far behind. Um, as you can see, that's why we barely have enough. Actually, perfect um, length to get here. This is our ignition wiring harness. It looks like somebody already tapped into here to this pink one. Like they had a kill switch for sure because this is the starter here. And they did some type of Mickey Mouse work here with some butt connector. So we're going to be fixing all of this. This relay actually, um, one side is going to go to the starter side and the other side is going to go to the ignition. So this relay is actually going to be helpful um, to fix this mess up here. Look at that, and there's like exposed wiring there. So, looking back at our 12 volt thing, we have the constant, which is a red, but it has two reds here. So I gotta figure out, I, I got my multimeter here, I'm gonna test out both of them, but they both might have power. Uh, starters, the, the purple one, like I said. Then we have, uh, ignition is pink. So for sure, it was like some type of thing, cause this is ignition. This pink one is going to go to our yellow one. So our yellow one is going to be to the pink one and then one side of the starter green and then the other side black. And then we have accessory which is orange right here. Um, I don't think I have anything that's going to go to that. Honestly, I don't, I don't see anything that's going to go to that. And then... We have the parking lights, which is um, the brown plug. And it's up here, this brown one. And then we have door trigger, which is the last one, which is a white driver's pin switch. So uh, I'm gonna have to take, I can't take this whole thing, it's all connected, but I can probably pull this out and there should be um, a white negative here. And that's for the uh, door trigger, so. Um, oh, and then the dome light too, which is, it's that orange one that we were here. I don't know if it's the orange one or the white one, but one of them. And we can tap into that one for the dome light supervision. But other than that, we got everything. So I'll show you real quick on the GoPro. I just strip a little bit like a one inch part. You can cut them and solder them back together, but I don't want to cut factory wires. I'm a little iffy for that. So besides our starter that's already cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Um, strip it with a with a um, razor blade. Strip like an inch back. And then poke a hole. And then feed the wire in and wrap it around. And then 
solder it and then tape it so that's the best way to, to make these connections and I'll show you guys right now I hope you guys can see here in the GoPro so we're gonna do I'll do the the constant 12 volt at the end because I don't want make sure you guys disconnect your uh, battery you don't want you don't want to uh, short circuit one of these things and cause see you can t-tap I guess a lot of people do just put t-taps here and they kind of work but I don't really like them to be honest so see I'll, I'll strip about half an inch to an inch of wiring here that way you can feed your wire through this little pick all right we still have some like that okay see when you add t-taps it kind of cuts the wire so we've made a hole there as you can see and then on this side the one that's gonna go onto the um, the pink one which is the ignition is the yellow one uh, yes is this yellow one so we're also going to be stripping this one this one I'll, I'll strip like an inch an inch and a half because this one you want you want this one to go in the hole and then you'll twist it around this is just to get a perfect solder so let me get my soldering iron and take care of this right here and then I'll tape it all right while my solder is warming up let's go ahead and do the next one which is gonna be the uh, what do we have here let's strip these out a little bit let's strip all of these out Okay. Let's see if our soldering iron is done. Oh yeah. All right. So let's put this here. Make sure you guys are careful when doing this because you don't want it to burn down your truck. And these take, these are thick wires. They take significant heat. All right. All right, guys, we got that taped up. All right, guys, a lot of these, we're going to have to extend them a little bit because they're not going to reach. And then we have the relay. All right, so the green one is going to go to the ignition the ignition side of it like right here bada bing ignition side of it and the other one's gonna go to the starter side my goodness my goodness gracious man I right hear These are thick wires, guys. So that's where the green one's gonna go. These are real thick wires. For this, we can actually put heat shrink on here. Yeah.
this side is gonna have the this side is gonna have the black one here So I'm gonna go ahead and the red one is gonna be to one of the red ones here so that we don't have to extend that one neither the the black one I think there's a little ground thing here there's a little metal thing here so I think we're okay there but the ones for the door headlight and dome light up here all three of these, I am gonna be extending them because they're not gonna reach. I need them to reach like around this area. So I'll be extending those off of camera, but literally I'm just gonna solder a couple wires to them and put over there. The last one I'm gonna do is actually the um, power wire. That's the last one I'm gonna do. Actually, no, the last one I'm gonna do is the siren. The siren one. But let me go ahead and heat shrink this and then we can mount our relay somewhere in here. I mean, I don't know. I guess this is just going to deter those low live thieves, you know? Because in the reality, I feel like the expert thieves, they know this truck like the back of their hand and stuff. And they can literally just go and bypass this so easily, you know? Let me do this off camera. Let me extend these off camera and then I'll come back with you guys and then we'll tidy all this up and put some nice uh, Tesla tape all the way around. Make this all nice and neat. All right, guys, um, I ended up blocking off the dome light supervision just because this one has to be into a relay in order to turn that on. But um, I don't really need that. Why am I gonna put another relay just to have that little light on? not worth it i'll probably end up eliminating it anyways once i built another panel up here so um moving on i did uh, extend uh this where's our other wire that i extended oh this one here this white one went to our actual brown one here and this one's gonna go to the headlights so that when you chirp it uh they flash and then this i thought i can just wire directly here but they left us no slack and you can kind of see it here it's inside there it's that white wire but i don't know where it goes uh, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to remove this i'm gonna have to remove this and see where it goes because there's no way to tap into it there so let me go ahead and remove this that'll help us clean it a little bit more in the back all right, guys, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to use a T-tap for this one. There's no way I can get back here. I thought that I could take this off, but it was just, like, blocked off back there. So I'm going to have to go from the underside and maybe use, like, some long pliers and, and that wiring. Use a T-tap, close it up, and then we're just going to wire that up to our, our door trigger. That's the only way I can probably get my hand in there and then press down on a t-tap that's the only thing i can do there's no way i can cut that wire up there and solder and everything no way all right guys so i managed to put my hand in there it's a tight spot and i unplugged it i unplugged it and i brought it up through here and this is the plug here and then i just tapped in there and i'm going to run this wire which is a longer wire it's just a little roll that i have here tuck it in and then we'll connect that one over here to our green and then last but not least we have our ground on our power and we're all set uh, besides the siren the siren we have to do but we have to run that over to the um, hood I mean to the engine bay and then just wrap everything up test everything and then wrap everything up and we're done um, later on when we do our uh, door panels and everything and switch to uh, electric windows and electric locks then we're gonna be going in again and putting in our um lock and unlock with our remote but i don't know why these trucks they weren't made with uh holes here so i'm gonna have to order the probably the factory little looming boot 
and then run all our wires. I'm gonna run a bunch of wires through here so we can have it ready um, so that we can switch all this stuff to electric. All right guys, I think everything's wired up. So I did put, this is the red one here. It's the one that, I honestly think both of them have, um, there's two red wires there. Just test them to make sure that they have 12 volts, but the one I use is the one on the black plug up there. And then you saw our, our um, starter relay. Um, this one's the one to our headlights. This one's already onto our headlights actually. And then the one that we just recently installed with the green one, which is the one for our trigger. All right, and for the ground, all I did was put like a little, one of these uh, connectors. And then there's like a little good ground air, grounding area right here. And I think we're ready to just plug in the brain. And then we'll test everything out. Once we everything works, then we can install our siren and button everything up. All right, guys, so we ended up mounting the siren. So uh, you guys probably can't see, it's too dark already. But right under the hole that we made for the this wire, we ended up making another hole with the grommet just to run pretty much the, the red wire for the siren. So I mounted the siren. Oh, I ended up using this little mounting place that's already there to mount the siren. Just put a nut at the end. And then I put my ground in this area and just uh, put the, this is a factory ground that was already there. And I just went ahead and uh, scuffed it up so it makes a good, good ground there. And that's our siren. So our install is completely, completely complete. And let me show you guys um, how it works. All right guys, let's go ahead and test this out. Just so I show you guys how this works. So that's the lock right there. <laughs> and then unlock. Heck yeah. So let's test out the siren actually. All right. Remember, it doesn't lock the doors yet because it's still manual windows. I mean, manual doors. Let's go ahead and lock it. See, it tells us the passenger door was opened. So that's a pretty neat thing about this uh, pager thing. And then uh, inside, I didn't show you guys, but I ended up wiring button here. You guys can see that. Just drilled a little hole and put the little button here. And also our little antenna here. I didn't show you guys that because it's pretty simple. I just wire it through here and up and put it right there. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. So let's test that out again. Let's lock it. Let's go ahead and test that out. There you go. So it alerted us that somebody hit the truck. Look at that. It's pretty neat. Let me know what you guys think. This is just a part one, because later on we're gonna be coming back and wiring up all the um, electrical stuff to the doors but that's gonna be it for this video guys i'll be seeing a lot of you guys on saturday stay tuned let me know what you guys thought about the alarm install um we're gonna be going with uh, i'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek if you guys made it through the end of this video you get a sneak peek we got our panels here sheesh look at this let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned for the next video where you guys will be able to see the finished product of this uh, system. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And stay tuned for the next one.